Hello everyone, it's Saturday, so it's time to take a look at another dinosaur fossil from my collection, or four fossils in this case, each from the same type of dinosaur, Cetacosaurus. This was a small ceratopsian dinosaur from China. Now, these teeth look quite unusual because of a long pointed bottom. This is because these are actually fully rooted teeth, much rarer than most dinosaur teeth for sale which are often just for crown. Dinosaurs lost their teeth all the time, so unrooted teeth are found quite often. Rooted teeth, though, are the ones left behind after the dinosaur died, so they are rarer and more desirable. These are quite nice examples, not perfect condition, but as you can see with these microscope photos, they have nice grooves on the face of the crown, and some have a nice bit of feeding wear to them. They're very small, around 1.6 centimetres including the root, so if I just had the crowns it would be quite hard to do a video of them given their size. I bought these from a friend of mine, Chinese teeth don't come on the market very often, so I was quite glad to get these. One I have sold to another friend, another I've agreed to trade for another dinosaur tooth. Now on to Cetacosaurus itself. It's a ceratopsian, so in the same group as the famous triceratops, though very distantly so. The ceratopsid group is huge, as this chart here shows. Circled in red is Cetacosaurus. Circled at the bottom is Ceratopsidae, which includes the giants of the group, like Triceratops and Centrosaurus. In the fossil collecting world, Cetacosaurus is quite a well-known dinosaur because of the absolute wealth of skeletons that have been found. Some of them are quite remarkable. This one here, for example, was found with preserved pigmentation, and this one here was found with a group of juveniles. These are just a few examples of the great fossils we've found of Cetacosaurus. Given the large number of Cetacosaurus fossils found, this is typically the easiest way for a collector to get a full dinosaur skeleton. However, many of the skeletons are actually composited from bones of many individuals. These two here show Cetacosaurus skeletons which may appear to be legitimate, all complete with each bone from the same specimen, but they're actually composited together from many different Cetacosaurus fossils. Up to 12 Cetacosaurus specimens are known. It's been found in China, Mongolia, Russia and Thailand. The teeth which I have come from Cetacosaurus lugitonensis, found in the Lugitun beds and Jiangshanhao beds of China's Yixian formation. Specimens from Yixian have been dated to be around 123 million years old. Cetacosaurus is a small dinosaur. The different species vary in size. The Yixian Cetacosaurus is similar in size to the Mongolian species, reaching near 2 meters in length and weighing around 44 pounds. So it has quite a unique appearance. Young Cetacosaurus were quadrupeds before switching to a bipedal stance as it got older, at the age of around 4 to 6. This left its forelimbs too short to reach the ground. They had limited flexibility and reach so the forelimbs weren't used for digging or raising food to its mouth. It's possible they were used for carrying nesting material. It had a powerful beak which it used to slice thick plant matter. Its teeth actually weren't too suitable for breaking up food, so it also used gastroliths, small stones that it swallowed to help break food down. These have been found in Cetacosaurus skeletons. Now the most distinguishing feature of Cetacosaurus is its tail. Those actually aren't feathers but are long bristles or quills. They're hollow and about 16 centimeters long and are quite thick and rigid. The skull shape differs between Cetacosaurus species as you can see with this little chart. But they are typically quite flat looking almost turtle like in appearance. Now, as mentioned, there have been a lot of Cetacosaurus skeletons found in amazing condition. So much so, we actually know the pattern of its colours. 
Cetacosaurus was countershaded due to living in dense forests with little light, which would have made it difficult to spot. It had stripes and spots on its limbs as disruptive camouflage. Its face and shoulders had clusters of pigmentation, which may have served for display purposes. Another preserved Cetacosaurus has revealed it had a cloaca, similar to those of crocodiles. This was described in a 2020 study of a sub-adult Cetacosaurus, so it's definitely one of the species we know the most about. The dinosaur was widely spread, sharing its habitat with many other different dinosaurs, depending on where it was from. As my teeth are from Yixian in China, we will look here. So in Yixian, Cetacosaurus is found mainly from the lowest beds of a formation, the Lugiatun unit and also the Jianshan Hao beds of the early Cretaceous period. Back then, these lands were an area of thick coniferous forests and ferns and rugged ground cover plants, including some flowers around a series of freshwater lakes. There was a very diverse range of life living in Yixian, from dinosaurs to mammals to birds to invertebrates. The list of dinosaurs found here is huge, so I'm not going to go through them all, but a few noteworthy examples are the giant sauropod. Euhelopus, the tiny, possibly burrowing, Changmayania, the ornithopod, Jeholosaurus, another common find here. There was a wide variety of birds, including Confuciornis, Yixian is famous for its birds' fossils, Dromaeosaurs or raptors were found there, again, many, many species, an example being. Cenoornithosaurus. There are a lot. Tyrannosaurids, the small D long, and the large U Tyrannus. Additionally, there was a host of pterosaurs and mammals. One species of mammal, Repenomammus, was found with the remains of a juvenile Cetacosaurus in its stomach. So it's theorized that Cetacosaurus was heavily predated which is why it gave birth to a lot of young. So it's an extremely diverse formation with many, many fossils from many, many species. Now, usually at the end, I talk about pricing. Here, however, I can't, simply because these teeth don't really come up for sale. So you're extremely unlikely to find one for sale on a commercial website. They're very hard to get hold of. I bought mine from a friend at a price which wouldn't really reflect the market value. So that's it for Cetacosaurus. We know so much about this dinosaur, there's a lot I didn't really touch upon, but that would lead to this video being too long. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thanks very much and take care.